Hello everybody and welcome back to Conquering the Cloud on Funbox Friday. So something I didn't do in the last episode was kind of give you guys a breakdown of the resources and the items I put into this prank. So I thought I'd do that right now. So to list things off for the expenses of this prank, the the colored roofs cost me about four stacks of red wool, which is 64 per stack. And then there's also that one stained clay, which cost me about a stack and a half close to that. Uh, next, we have the actual note blocks that cost me a little under, a little, no, sorry, a little more than two stacks. And of course, we have repeaters in between the note blocks, which actually cost me less than that. It's close to about a stack and a half, maybe a little more than that. And then we have the main expenses, other than, of course, one block of lapis, one wither skull, and 12 name tags. As well, it also took me four spiders and a witch, which isn't really part of my expenses, but it's uh, it's labor costs, basically, to get them into here. <laughs> but yeah, so that's basically the main resources that I used on this prank, other than a few other things for fences and wood and such, but that's not really the high cost stuff. I thought I'd give you guys a list of it. And I plan to do this for as many pranks as I do on this server, as long as I remember, because <laughs> I actually forgot. So, enough of that. Let's get down to the task of today. What we're going to be doing is doing another build and spawn. So let's go. Alright, so, oops, <laughs> landed in the tripwire hooks. So we're here at spawn, and I don't see that, but I mentioned while we were building the horse timer that I actually wanted to make another building here at the corner, if it loads in. And I've kind of started laying down the framework for it. I've worked on the start of the build, I've basically designed how I want it to be shaped, uh, giving us enough room for the interior, which we probably don't have time to get to till today. Or, sorry, we don't have time to get to today. We'll have to save that till tomorrow. Or, well, my recording will probably be tomorrow, but I mean for next week. And I know I haven't recorded. I didn't put up an episode last week because I kind of kind of lost the will to record for a bit there. I needed a break. I think it's mostly because the server's been kind of quiet lately. Everybody's been playing on the new FTP server that BAM recently got for us. But yeah, so uh, what we're going to be building here is a shop. It's not exactly a shop per se, as in uh, normally the shops would be built on the green plot where it actually you sell stuff. In this case, it's just going to be an entrance fee. So it's a shop where you can get supplies, but it doesn't cost you anything. It just costs you an entrance fee. That's why I'm making it here at the corner by the red. It's kind of the same thing like that. That is really, it has a cost to it, but it essentially is free. However, I'm going to make this cost diamonds to get into because the supplies inside are pretty damn good. You're going to want to get in. So what we're going to do is sleep away the night and make this rain go away. To start things off, I thought we'd lay out the framework for the entrance here. I'm going to need an iron door. That's what we're going to be using for the entrance. I've gone ahead and got a bunch of resources, and I've actually put them in these chests here. Just a, a bunch of random stuff I know we'll, we'll eventually need. So yeah, the door is going to be here. There's our iron door to get inside. I do need some more iron, so I'll have to get a stack real quick. Uh, we'll get two stacks, because I know we'll need it. There's our iron farm. I don't know. I showed you guys in the tour, but I don't think I've kind of gone back there in a while. So what we're going to do here, obviously this base is going to be, uh, I mean not base, this store is obviously going to be decorated in the colors of yours truly. And the first wall here, I'm kind of taking part of that corner of the chicken um, shop, kind of following its design. Now it has like a, a glass window in the corner. We're going to do the same thing here. And it just goes up like so. Now I'm going to need a couple blocks of quartz, and I don't think I have any half slabs, do I, other than these ones? No, I don't. So let's just put these away. Let's go get some more smooth stone. So over here, uh, Sparks set this up. It's basically kind of like a general item depot, I guess you could call it. Uh, there's like loose items here that are used for working on spawn. I hear a zombie. And we're going to borrow a couple of those resources, specifically the smooth stone. And I need some quartz. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep to kind of the design of spawn and how he set it up. Oops. Let's kind of just, let's put some of this stuff away because my inventory is packed to the brim. I'll put that up right now. We'll just get rid of a bunch of these random items because I don't need it at the moment. Oops, I said I would keep that and I got rid of it. Okay, so 
Um, what I'm going to need first is a bit of half slabs. I'm going to need a lot of it, so that should be good. In this corner here, uh, we're going to have just regular half slabs going up, and I should also get a couple of panes. I don't have any, so I'll have to make some. Uh, do I have black? I may not have black panes. Oh, well, that'll be, uh, I'll get to that after. I'm still low. <laughs> I haven't got all the resources I need, just some. Alright, so 32 will do for now. I'll make some more after. There we go, perfect. More than enough. So what we're going to do is kind of have this corner. Most of the windows, um, most not all, are going to be kind of interchanged like so. And that'll be there. And that there. And then one there. And I believe I have... Uh, you are my silk touch beauty. So this is going to be... If you can kind of imagine it, the black stained glass is going to be where the holes are. Yeah, kind of like that. And then in this corner here, we're going to be putting a bunch of these half slabs. So I went ahead and got some black ink because that was driving me absolutely nuts. Not having that set up properly. Now uh, I also went ahead and finished that, but we have to add some accents to it. Basically this is just to make it look not so much like an iron uh, cube. Next thing is also to have a bit of a roof over the doorway. There we go. And I also want a little bit above the window. Uh, is that right? No, wait, sorry. That is incorrect. I gotta move this over. And I've also put up the quartz over there, if you didn't see. There we go. That's better. Oh, it's hard going off memory for some of these builds. I usually just build as we go. But anyway, so to continue, I have these uh, walls set up, like I said, and they have these corners here. And I don't want mobs to spawn outside, so I've gotten this grass, or these leaves. This is to add more of a grassy look and to stop mobs from spawning. Now, I'm not going to have light underneath them. It's just going to be like this. I actually want the area to look kind of dark, um, just because it goes better with my colors stuff like that. There's um, it's no, not really uh, much meaning behind that in any way. I believe it's one, but um, I'm not sure. Just give me a sec. Uh, yeah, this side's one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and then over here we have two. And this, like I said, is just to give it more of a look. Um, but on the corner on that side, where people kind of don't see it as much, I'm going to use quartz in the corners, like I did at the front there. So, to continue, the next part here is going to be another window. And, oops, wrong button. I believe I have uh, somewhere stairs. Okay, so I do have it on my hotbar. And then I need glass and glass. Now, this is going to be similar to kind of that window in the corner there. It's going to be a little different, though. And I need iron as well. There we go. Um, so let's see, this would be black, then it's purple, black, purple, black, purple. Uh, that'll be high enough for now. I'm not exactly sure how the roof's going to be, I never worked that out yet. And then over here is a bunch of stair blocks, upside down. I'm going to have to go up though. I'm going to go up as I go. So this is to give it a little bit more of a border around the window. And as I, as you, uh, you heard me counting it, uh, or uh, saying it, it's going to be... Black, purple, black, purple, and a black purple. There we go. That's half of the window. On this side, it's going to be the opposite. And I just realized I can go up with that. So we'll go up this way. On this side. Perfect. And then as we're going up with the glass, we'll put in the stairs. Oh, I'm a genius. Except it's facing the wrong way. I'm not a genius. I am pretty much not that smart. Uh, so, oh shit. Come here, you. So I was trying to have a little bit more fun with this build, you know. Going off memory is fun and all, but it's not easy. I just gotta, just gotta enjoy the build sometimes. After all, this place is gonna be very important to me in spawn. It's, it's very, uh, it's where I get to share my wealth. So, uh, the whole goal of this building is basically, you know, I need a claim and spawn. If I want to conquer this server, I need to let the people know I am trustworthy. I want to, I want them to accept me as their lord and master, uh, as their, their friend, and as their, their companion, and as someone they, they would want them to have as a leader. 
So that's the whole purpose of this build. It's to, to let them know they can come on in and enjoy what I have to offer. And this is actually looking pretty good. So there's one window there. Now this is going to be the same on the other side over here. Uh, basically this is going to be, this. it's going to mirror it. Uh, I've set this up here, that's for next episode. And then I'm going to have another one of those windows on this side over here as well. Now the inside will also do on the, the next episode. But what we're going to do now is something a little fun. I just got to, I just got to get the, the resources. So just give me a sec. If you've watched some of my other episodes, you'll know that my all-time favorite block in the game is the staircase block or the stone brick stairs, which actually isn't a block when you think about it, but that is my favorite block with quotes in the game. And what we're going to be doing now is a bit of staircase art, as I like to call it. Basically, staircase art is shapes you make with stairs. It's kind of, um, because you can have, there's a gap in between the stairs, which I usually used to make pictures, and sometimes I put the stairs together to make pictures as well. It's just, it's so, it's such a, a variable block. You can just make it do anything. You can use it for anything. It's it's so dynamic and fancy words that make it sound interesting and not just a, a block of stairs. But yeah, I, I found several uses for it other than just like decorating the background of a base or the corners of a house, other things like that. So I, I find it to be probably my favorite block currently in the game. And what we're doing right now is just setting up the border for our staircase art. It's going to be a picture. Now, when you come off of the oops, horse timer, the first thing you'll see from this building, other than the back of it, is probably this little picture right here. So as soon as you come out, or here, you'll see the back, but you'll see this. And this is going to be kind of like my, my little bit of a logo kind of uh, thing. And what we're doing is going to be making a face, kind of like a, a happy face, like... Like my face, I got a happy face. I'm smiling. I'm smiling, ain't I? <laughs> so, the staircase art that we're doing, I've already done, and I'm going off of a picture. This here is the mouth, and I have that uh, that cheeky grin. <laughs> Goes up the side like that. And obviously, it's not going to be looking through to the building. And I've kind of blocked off my way in, so I gotta go all the way around because this wall's not finished yet. Uh, we're gonna have a background to it, so I may as well set that up now so I don't have to come back. Uh, it's kind of hard to do from this side. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be mimicking my skin's face, and if you look at it, hold on, let's go over here. So you see, I have kind of those four quadrants. The top left is kind of purple, bottom right the same, and the top right and the bottom left are black. And then I have that grin and the, the two eyes. So that's kind of the, the face we'll be making here. Uh, obviously the bottom uh, right is purple. And then it goes over like so. And obviously uh, something I've learned is you always build in odd numbers. The only thing with that is it makes it hard to make my skin because my skin is made with even numbers. So I've worked that out with kind of like a, I usually do kind of like a diagonal of the purple and then the black is just filling in the rest. Like so. And... I remember correctly, the middle one's purple, but this one becomes black, like that. And then on the upper area, it reverses. So this side is purple, but that side is black. So let's go up, purple, like so. And then I believe this should be black. That looks about right. Not 100%. I may have to adjust that as a... As we go, but yeah, so that's pretty cool, and I've kind of decided that's going to be it's similar to how my, I want my flag to be, but it looks pretty damn cool, doesn't it? If I did that as a flag, if I have to work with odd numbers, that's probably the one I'll, the design I'll go with. So yeah, there's my my smiley grin, and then the next part we'll be doing. Um, let's see, what do I need? Uh, okay, so the next part is uh, the top of my smile right here. So this is also part of the eye, like that. And then it's a staircase. Oops. Has to go facing this way. And there we go. And then this one is... Oh, I gotta move over. Using stained clay as building blocks. Probably not the smartest thing, but... Uh, I was gonna say it works, but it isn't working very well at the moment. Oh, come on. Don't take that off. It's easier to place that block than the other one. There. Perfect. 
Let's get rid of our. Let's go down and get our resources that we dropped. Okay. So like I was saying, there you have it. That's the top of my mouth and my eye as well. And now my on my skin, my eye is gray, but we're not going to do that. As you can see, I have redstone blocks. I'm going to give myself some red eyes. You know, make it kind of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, welcoming. Yeah, welcoming. That's the word I'm looking for. Because, you know, I got an eye, an eye for detail, red eye. Uh, ooh, kind of reminds me of pink eye. That's not good. <laughs> I'm still gonna keep it. So, and then over here, it's just a bunch of half slabs to cop uh, to top off the um, my smile, my grin. And then, obviously, we just have to make the same thing on the other side. Another eye, uh, like so. Ta da! That was easier to place. This one might not be. No, it is perfect. No, wait, not perfect. That's actually the wrong way. I don't have a. I don't make that face. <laughs> My skin don't make that face. We gotta go out one more. There we go. Perfect. That looks pretty good. And then I want to have one more half slab there. Perfect. My face, my beautiful face is complete. Other than the eye, which we'll be putting in now. And perfect. And just to make sure we don't waste those coal blocks, I'm gonna go get it right now. But first I'll give you guys a little bit of a look from over here. There you have it. Perfect. Looks just like me. Oh, I'm beautiful. I'm gorgeous. Oh, I'm gorgeous. So you come up from here. Horse timer. Do. Oh, wow. That's a happy go lucky smiling face. Just asking me to come into the shop. Yeah. <laughs>